First, a new name to the political arena had a very strong finish in the recall election. He's 29 years old and he finished second in the race, edging out on a statewide scale, our former mayor, Kevin Faulkner. Joining us now to discuss is Democrat Kevin Pafrath. And you still have your suit and tie on, Kevin. Wow, it's 10 o'clock at night, brother. Hey, we've been celebrating. You should be in our party room right now because it's a lot more lively than Larry Elder's. I'll tell you that we've been comparing and we're like, hey, they're not partying like we are because we're having fun. Look, here's the thing. We are an agent of change in California. Larry Elder will never be that. I personally hope and I implore publicly Larry Elder to drop out of politics in California because if he runs again in 2022, it's just going to be a repeat of what we had today. Trump extremism versus Gavin extremism. That's not what Californians want. We're going to get COVID behind us, and then we got to focus on the real problems we have. Housing, schools, water, crime, fires. Get Larry out of the way so we can finally replace Gavin Newsom with an agent of change. Well, finishing second in this pool of candidates, uh, you got 11% of the vote. You've got to be impressed with the numbers that you brought in. Look, we've spent 5% of the money that uh, Larry Elder has. We have 1% of the money that Gavin Newsom has. The fact that we are uh, at almost 11% is a massive victory. It is a sign that folks are ready for that JFK-style moderate Democrat. We just need an election to focus on that middle. Because right now what we've got is a situation where I personally think Gavin Newsom should be sending a big old gift basket on over to Larry Elder. And quite frankly, he should include COVID and Trump in that because they handed him this election. This was an election about COVID and Trump, not about the problems California is actually facing. Not to minimize COVID, not to minimize COVID, okay? COVID's important, but it's not gonna be with us forever. The real issues, schooling, the fact that we're in the bottom 20% of schools, that's gonna be with us forever unless we have real change. So what's next for you? Yeah, next for us is evaluating what is the playing field going to look like for 2022? Because look, California's system is kind of funky when you get to a regular primary election. Only the top two candidates win. This is why Larry Elder's got to get out of the way so moderate can get in. Because if Larry Elder runs in 2022, it's probably going to be Newsom versus Larry Elder. And we're just going to have a repeat of what we had today, which is a waste of time. It's a waste of a campaign. And we'll probably have to wait for a clean slate in 2026. If Larry Elder does not run, we can actually have moderates fight down. Gavin Newsom on policy, get Democrats, moderate Democrats like me, a JFK style Democrat, to fight Gavin Newsom and dethrone Gavin Newsom. We can beat Newsom on policy, but we can't beat Gavin Newsom if we've got the perfect plant, Larry Elder, to represent Donald Trump, especially in 2022. Remember what's going to happen in 2022. Donald Trump is going to be heavily influencing the House of Representatives and Senate elections because he's going to want to come back in 2024 and have Republican control. So that's what he's going to be pushing for. He's going to be a massive hand in the 2022 election. And if Larry Elder is the face of Trump in California, you're going to have the same two to one vote in California. It's going to be a waste of election again. We'll be stuck with the loser of Gavin Newsom again. All right. We're going to let you get back to your party room that you say is going off at this hour. Appreciate your time. And again, congratulations on a pretty strong showing for your first political race. I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Thank you so much. All Follow right. me on Instagram. We'll put some put some shots up on our stories. You got it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.